Alrighty guys, welcome back to the conclusion here or staying out until we make $400. Our right number sitting around 181, but we just accepted our first fair rider, whatever, of the night. Paying, I think, a little under $14. Taking us into DC, that's fine. We're going to end up there at some point. Hopefully, though, it'll be back to back to back to back. I'm feeling good about this, guys. Hopefully, I was able to edit, hopefully I was able to edit part one for it to come out yesterday, but maybe, maybe not. Because you got to realize, I got to sleep. <laughs> you know, I got to edit the video. So, yeah, at the writer's pickup location. I've actually picked up this girl before because of that location, actually, and her name. Super unique. So, last time she took a while to come out. So, I'll give her a few minutes. We'll see you guys in a few. Just starting. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you know what? Same. Same. Like, you're like, <laughs> literally like, you're, you're the first, uh, my first writer of the night. I just started. So, nah, yeah. I hope see. I bring good luck. Hey, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you will. Yeah, for sure. Why not? <laughs> I thought it was going to rain for a little bit, but then it stopped, so that was good. You know, yeah. to see weather, you never know. But even if it rains, people still go out, you know, no matter what. <laughs> so, you know, it's the weekend and the body knows it kind of thing. Yeah, so it's summertime, like... Summertime, you just cannot <laughs> stop the rain from getting to you. We're exactly. not made of sugar. <laughs> exactly. No, I think it'll be a good night. I, I hope. Sienna dropped off. It's her birthday weekend. She's turning 29. It was funny. We talked a lot. I'm not sure how much of that will be used, if any. Um... But she's like, yeah, you know, I'm just getting too old for going out and this and that. And we talked about it. So I asked her, are you like a like a two-nighter person? Can you go out back-to-back -back, like Friday and Saturday? She's like, no. I definitely can't do that anymore either. Like, even even this, like if I go, if I work off all of Friday, there's no way I can pull it off all over again on Saturday. I mean, I think if I absolutely needed the money, I'm sure that I probably could. But I will hope that I would never be in that position where like I have to be out here for that long. You know what I mean? Excuse me. But... I think we're sitting around 190 something. So 200 is right there. That's cool. Okay, guys, it did not take long for us to get our next rider here. This one's paying a little bit less, only going three miles. And this will put us over the $200 milestone. I think after that, it's just 200 more dollars. So hopefully, we can get a bunch of rides. This one right here is kind of tricky because it only says like three miles. But in DC, three miles could take a very long time. So I'm kind of hoping that we can knock that out fairly quickly. So either that or we made a huge mistake. We'll see what happens. Let's get. And there was like, there were like, I think it was eighty bottles of Corona and five, <laughs> yeah, eighty and five bottles of rum. Wow. And some people don't drink, and I drank like probably like seven bottles of Corona within like two hours. That's funny. Yeah. I feel like you do more. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a chill. I can do beer like nonstop, but I I think you I just got the burbs. <laughs> I mean, that happens. Yeah. She burps so much. <laughs> my mom saw me. I'm more of a shop person. I'm more of a shop person. So any any tequila, shop. Tequila, I love tequila. Like, I think it's just sort of the point. You know, it's it's faster. You you get where you want to go faster with a shot. Yeah. As opposed to holding a drink the whole time. I can't do vodka shots though. I should like vodka. I take vodka. I think it's like trauma associated with like college. <laughs> Consistently taking cheap vodka shots that like any type of vodka shots just like makes me yak. My partner, this one time he drank like every clear at a party and he passed out. And like they put him in the shower to wake him up and they turned on cold shower. So this man turned purple and they didn't know what to do. So they put him like in like they called the ambulance. And he ended up purple? He turned purple and he ended up in the hospital. Why didn't they turn on the hot water? <laughs> they were all drunk on Everclear. But he was the first one to pass out. Damn. So he passed out purple and then he woke up in the ER. He was like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's, that's... See, so I'm not the only crazy one in the relationship. <laughs> He's at least my too stable though. Okay. <laughs> hey, Dude, like, the white suburban family go. was a supportive, supportive mother. We got the immigrant trauma. <laughs> yeah, man. I, that's a real thing, man. 100%. And they're also angry at him. I'm like, how do you not have trauma? How do you not have any childhood trauma? Any type of trauma? He's like, you're my trauma. And I'm like, <laughs> He's like, I'm choosing you. Hey, that's that's a whole other uh, form of love right there. You're I'm choosing shoot? this trauma yeah, yeah. <laughs> to experience. Yeah, exactly. I almost set a, a frat house on fire. What? Three times. <laughs> Three times? Yeah. What did I, you do? I was making like a little fire thing. Do you guys have like a, you like a, a fire uh, bitch? <laughs> do you yeah. guys have like a re recovery food for like the next day? Because for me it's fall. It's oh, fall always. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 for huh. sure. You know where it's at. Yeah. Yes. You guys are going to be here. Yes, right here. Yeah, let me 
Oh, you know where he's trying? Yeah, it's well, number nine. nine. Yeah, I see the nine over <laughs> there. Oh. Yeah. So if you guys get on the right side, you guys should be okay over yeah. here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys have fun. Have a good time. Thank you. Good time have you talking to you guys. Yeah, be safe. Drive safe. Drink. Right. Take some shots. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Okay, guys. Quick little update here. It's 11:05, and we did. I think was it one ride or two rides? I forgot how many rides we did, but it's on the screen. That we do have our next rider here, going like super short distance. Like I think it's barely a mile. We're almost there. The last riders, though, I hope I can use some of the footage because man, they were super funny. It was like it was like the brother, the sister, and I think a friend. But the sister was in town from out of town, so they were showing her around. Uh, just good vibes. Sometimes when you just. I feel like we were friends for like forever, if that makes sense, even though we had, literally had just met. Um, so yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Wait, they're saying it feels busier today? I don't know, maybe we're getting lucky with the rides. Drop, drop them off, that was maybe like five, six minutes, if that. And then we have another one already in the queue, going back to Arlington. Um, so, so far, so good. Hopefully it doesn't just die. It is pretty early though, when you put it into the uh, going now time. So a lot of people don't go out till like midnight sometimes, you know? Uh, me personally, when I go out, I think you, you want to be at your destination by midnight. That's just me, though. Anyways, see you guys soon. Okay, guys, we are back in Virginia. Um, but I'm not going to lie. My car stinks like food right now. I don't know if, this, if they just finished eating some, like, really strong, like, Indian food or what. But as soon as the dude walked into the car, as soon as he sent the car, just the wave of smell of food. Like, I was just like, bro, this is so strong. <laughs> so we have the windows down in the back. Maybe the front so we can air out the car real quick. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's 11.30 right now. I'm not even sure where we're at, but I feel great. So hopefully we're on track. Um, I know we're not at 300 yet, but we're baby stepping and we're getting there. Let's go. Guys, oh man, it's been a night. It's been slow. And I just realized that in my last two or three recordings, they're not safe. I don't know if it was me or maybe the camera. I think it was me. I think I thought I hit record, but I didn't. So, quick update, <laughs> it is 2.25 in the morning, and I think we're sitting around like 2.80. Uh, we're not even at 300 yet, but we do have our next rider here paying $15, so that's going to put us basically at 300. Uh, but yeah, it's been a slow night. I even took like a solid 30-minute power nap, which was much needed, by the way, because I think my headache started coming back. I think, it's, I think I'm just tired. I'm drinking lots of water, though, so I don't think I'm dehydrated. I think I'm just tired. But regardless... I still think we can still stay out a little bit longer to try and get to four hundred dollars. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so we're like five minutes away here from the next pickup from DC to Arlington. I'm a little more picky now. It's after after one, I get more picky because I don't want to be in Maryland. I don't want. I don't want to be too far, you know. So typically after one, it's either like Alexandria Falls Church or DC to DC, Arlington, you know, things like that. So yeah. Anyways, let me pick up the next rider. Hopefully this is recording. I'm gonna be real pissed if it's not, uh, but I'm pretty sure that it is. Let's get it. Okay, guys, hopefully you can see me okay. Hear me okay, at least. So the next rider could be the last one, and it's not gonna be enough to get to 400, but I think because my headache is just not getting any better. It's not getting worse. It's just there, like, like throbbing in my head. And this next one is going all the way to Sterling, near my W2. I think it's paying like almost 40 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and take that and then more than likely call it a day. Although you never know, we could catch on the ride somehow, some way. Um, hopefully we can find them. We'll see you guys real quick. Alrighty guys, the last rider left me right behind the Wawa. So you guys can see right here, the Wawa right here by my W2. So today could not have ended in a better note, I think. We're gonna finish if my math is correct at 334 with 88 cents and it's four o'clock in the morning on the dot i really wanted to hit 400 but man this headache is not going away and i could not pass up on that ride paying basically 40 dollars to go back to my neck of the woods so hopefully you guys understand that we're going to give this a shot next weekend but on a saturday because i'm going to go back to not working overtime i'm going to go back to going live on fridays and then saturdays will be the day where i can do you know a challenge like this i think saturdays are busier than fridays at least from the last two weeks from what i can tell but that's it it's gonna be osho bro i might even just make this one big video i'm not even sure uh because i feel like i missed i missed a lot of recordings I, I honestly thought i was hitting record and i guess i wasn't and because the vibrate function doesn't work on the camera i really can't tell <laughs> so that was that's on me but you know it is what it is 
I'll try and pull as much uh, in dash footage as I can, uh, if any. But I'm pretty sure I'll put some in there. But overall, I say today was pretty, pretty successful. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Peace. All right, currently 2.30 in the afternoon. We've been up actually since pretty early. My daughter was restless, she wanted to play, and how am I gonna say no, you know? So I've been up for a while. I thought about just, you know, staying in and do some editing, and I'm like, you know what? But I feel I feel well enough to go back out because I feel like we have some unfinished business here. We did not stay out until we made $400. We made, what, 3.35, I think? And now we're starting off pretty good. We do have an order later today from Zifty paying $19.75 for like a mile in Tyson. So I'm like, you know what, let's go to Arlington and then we'll make our way back towards Tyson's towards the end of the night. I didn't finish off in Sterling. I, I am working some overtime today, so it'll make sense. So I was going to Arlington, but I had a power turned on, because why not? I mean, we, we, we caught a ride. We caught a ride here from Mosaic, which is in technically Vienna, I think, or yeah, Mosaic, Fairfax, whatever. Going to DC, paying like $21, why not? Why not? So hopefully today, we can make $100 between now and like, actually no, that's not that much. We can make somehow $150 between 2.30 and 7.30. I think that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Hopefully we can make that happen. Let's get okay, it. Okay guys, we got uh, the writer dropped off, man. We, were, we, we had a good conversation, he's a manager, I forgot. So one of these juice places, uh, and I guess I had an issue at the store here in Georgetown. So we talked the entire time, cool guy. Now here we are in Georgetown. There's so many freaking people. It's insane. People just walking everywhere. They don't even care. Um, so I paid like $21, $22, which is fine because we're just gonna cross the bridge right into Arlington and just kind of hang out over there. So we'll see. Now I do gotta be mindful of the time. I think I gotta pick up the order. This is probably my latest catering order. Like for a catering order, you know, for me to go get it like at six in the afternoon, that's kind of late, you know? So I'm sure it's got to be going to like a house or something. I doubt that it's going to a business. But maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, and it's going from Moby Dick's House of Kebabs. I've been to this Moby Dick's plenty of times. Uh, and it's more in the border between Arlington and Tyson's. So it's not it's not, it's not like in the middle by like the mall. It's more towards like McLean. So it should be good. It should be a good day. Again, we can make 150 real quick by 730. We'll take it. If not, whatever we make whatever <laughs> so let me know how your friday went hopefully uh, better than mine it was just not that busy but we still made 335 so you know it's still okay i guess i wish we could have made more but i was definitely home way earlier uh today or yeah technically today <laughs> compared to the last week where i, I think I, I got home like at six this time i was home by like not even four earlier than that so Anyways, that's all I got for right now. We'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, so we crossed the bridge back into Virginia, and yo, it is really hot today. Like, I mean, it's boiling. Anyways, we're here at Popotella Psych. We're here at F Fatouche, Fatouche. We're rocking the Middle Eastern cuisine. Never been here before. Paying seven bucks, three miles. Why not? Let's see if it's ready. <clears throat> I'm just picking it up from Mohammed. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. Oh, from Mohammed. Mohammed. Yes, sir. Mohammed, perfect. Thank you so much. You Have a good day. Thank you. Alrighty, guys, look at the food picked up. As you saw, it was ready here for Mohammed. Let's go. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off. That's a pretty smooth delivery. I've never been to this building before. Uh, but, anyways, by the way, last night, my commanders won a game. I mean, it's preseason. I get it. And it was against the Browns. Um, but you know what? Somehow it looked all right. Somehow it looked okay. And I did place a small bet on him, not on him, but on the commanders. And to my surprise, because they won, it actually hit. <laughs> so, I mean, I did like a, I did like a bunch of games and then I just did one for them specifically. The one that was a bunch of games, that failed miserably because the Giants lost. I had them winning. They lost. The Bengals lost. Uh, who else lost that I had them winning? The Dolphins lost. But this is all preseason, so, you know, but still. Anyways, we're gonna make our way here. Your boy is kind of hungry though. I didn't really have breakfast, so now I'm hungry, which kind of sucks because I don't want to, you know, kill time eating. But at the same time, I'm hungry. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I think we're sitting around thirty bucks or so. I know we have at least twenty more dollars already in the bag from that fifty order later today. So I think one hundred is definitely possible. One fifty might be a stretch. But again, there's still plenty of time, so who knows? So you know what? We took a break. I was hungry. I was hungry. I'm sorry. Went to this premium place called Fuego. 
had a nice little pan con chicharron sandwich. And then I declined one of the pirate girls still eating. I declined two uh, grow up orders that were bad. Got back in the car, been watching some YouTube videos. And then we have this one right here that could possibly be the last one we do before heading back towards uh, Tyson's for this catering order. Uh, I believe we're going to DC. We're only two minutes away here from the rider's pickup location. And then, yeah, I shove enough time to drop him off and then get, get my ass towards Tyson's for the safety order. Let's go. Hey guys, we got the rider dropped off. It took so much longer than it should have, but there's just so much traffic in DC going on. But we're gonna make our way here towards Tyson's to get the order here from safety picked up. We'll see you guys there. Try to give you some DC to Tyson's views, but I'm pretty sure the camera died at some point. But here we are at Moby Dick's. Current time is 6:15. I think after this, then I'm gonna go home for a little bit before going to my W2. Um, so this will be it. Let's see if it's ready though. We do have our bag, by the way. What's up, man? I'm just picking up a Easy Cater order. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, so good. Thank you. That was probably the longest wait I've ever had to do at any place, picking up a catering order. But everything fit here in this shopping bag, catering bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we're on our way. Luckily, it's closed, but uh, we're 10 minutes past the pickup time. I sent uh, Cynthia a message because, you know, I don't want to think it's my fault. And we'll see you guys. In a okay, few. guys, we're on the road here to the drop off. We're we'll just going to like a pool. Maybe like a community pool, I'm not sure. I thought it was interesting though that they didn't have any like plates or utensils. I even asked and the guy was like, no, we don't have that. And I was like, all right, bro, chill. Um, but now here we are only five minutes away. Did they have some instructions who to ask for once I get there? Um, and according to this, it's going up a huge hill. So we might bust out the cart just for that. Cause I don't feel like carrying this bag through a huge hill. We'll see, we'll see. Anyways, after this, we're gonna be done, and I might not even have enough time to go home, to be honest. It's already 6.34, by the time I drop it off, they say everything goes smooth. It'll be like, I don't know, 6.45, 6.50. Then it'll take me like 20 minutes to get home, and then, yeah, I don't know if I have enough time for that. We'll see. I wanna try it, though. We'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty, guys, turns out, even if I wanted to use the cart, it would not help, because it's a bunch of stairs. <laughs> so that's fun. This place is so secluded. According to the signs, it's some exclusive club or something or other. Although it looks like it's old, but still. Let's see if we can get up here. Well, you know what? I guess I could have used a card because I have like a, a accessible way for like wheelchairs and stuff like that. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it should, it should notify them once I pick it up. But once I tell them that I dropped it off, so. Yeah. Wait, were you able to call them as well? Yeah, I can call them. Yeah, for sure. Let me see if she picks up. <laughs> no, 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 I said if you already called them. If you already called them. Oh, it, it tells them automatically that I'm, okay, yeah, fine. okay. Make an announcement so this okay, no problem. Thank you. Of course. Just gotta take a quick picture. Well, I won't get you guys, don't worry. <laughs> all right, and you're all set. Thank you so much. Thank you, you're welcome. 
okay guys we got the order here dropped off and it's gonna be it in this little small short shift i think if i had what i made right now or what i made yesterday and early this morning that puts us over 400 dollars. does that count no it doesn't count i'm just kidding but i guess in theory in the last two days we did make 400 dollars. so that's always nice tomorrow we're gonna go to delaware we're gonna go to dewey beach in delaware so that's always fun uh, but i do have to go to work tonight so that's where we're going right now overall not a bad day i mean made a little bit of money you know extra i guess if you will uh, but yeah that's all i got for today remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content yo this this speed bump right here is so tall ah, i didn't scratch good like if you have any type of like low car there's no way you're coming here there's no way first of all i don't even know why they have so many speed bumps here it's so it's like a really it's like a like a two mile road if that but they have mass speed bumps for whatever reason so yeah anyways we'll see you guys in the next video peace